Hi, and welcome into Our Horror Ride Episode 3 Reaction. Um, I am so freaking excited. This anime literally only has 12 episodes, so it's not like I'm literally a quarter way through when I finish this episode, which is like, not gonna lie, it's kind of coming off slightly homophobic that they're doing this to me. But, alas, um, <laughs> I honestly was really surprised by how much progression there was in like character development for the main character um literally like in the second episode i did not expect that to happen especially in these types of animes that progression kind of takes some time you know so i think i think we're in for a ride i think there might be some like romantic elements today because we already got like that hug and that like bro that sent me off i was i was losing my mind but um i'm excited to react to episode i'm excited to react to episode three and yeah let's get into it you guys So it seems we're like reacting to like every single time like the episode starts it starts off in the past is it because she's stuck in the past oh my god oh my god oh my god wait wait, wait. am i gonna get a premonition so like eventually when like the past and the present are so good she's gonna stop dreaming about the past at the beginning of the episode please say that please say i'm right oh that's so cute are you kidding me? <laughs> what? What do you mean the times that we fumbled through together? Wait, wait, is there more to their history than I'm aware of? Huh. Okay, the more you know. How long is this intro? Stop, this cat is so cute. I don't give a fuck. She's so cute. I can't. Oh, stop. Oh, so we're dropping, like we're being dropped off right where the last episode was. You dumbass. Are you stupid? Is he dumb? Mm -mm. That's like the first time he smiled. That's like the first time he smiled since the time travel. That's like literally his first smile. That is a significant moment for those cold brooding types, you know? So they are related. I told you. I'm not gonna say I told you so, but I told you so. Wait, did they think they were dating? Bestie, that is inappropriate. He is a teacher. He's his brother. I knew it. They look exactly the same. Copy paste. What? <laughs> oh 
No, <laughs> that's a violation. That's a, that's a violation. あ、<笑><笑><笑> He doesn't clearly he remembers her because he would talk about her or something. And so now he's trying to get in the way of him telling her that. Oh my god, this little shit. Wow, the lengths that this man would go at. <laughs> Sir, okay, listen, if this joke was made in today's day and age, oh my god, like there would be a full on fledged, like like investigation on this man he would talk about her all the time didn't he fuck yeah oh he would write her name <laughs> Oh, he, her, his, her, eh, his older brother kind of looks like L from Death Note. There, oh my God, you're gonna get some strawberry shortcake. You want me to feed you some? <laughs> oh my God, this literally a strawberry in his shirt. He looks like L. Crossover episode when? I'm gonna cry. That's so cute. I also love his beauty mark on his face. That's so pretty. It's so pretty. He's still holding her arm. So he is going to be the character development that takes a while. Not her, him. He he's gonna be the one that takes a while. God damn it, motherfucker. I really thought this was going to be smooth sailing. I contact. I'm sorry, but that's remarkably like a sweet thing to do. Like he let her go, and then so she gripped onto him. Are we not gonna talk about how cute that is? Is nobody gonna talk about like how wholesome that shit is? That's some like romantic shit. That's some like Shakespearean romantic shit. Like minus like the trauma of like death, you know. You're so annoying. 
he's saying that because it's annoying him to care. He's not used to caring. Emotional damage! Emotional damage! Better say yes. Good! I know I'm like getting like way too emotional over something like this, but like, one, I'm a crybaby. Two, it's none of your fucking business. Three, this is really cute. <laughs> oh my god. She is so cute. He looks de still depressed. Like he was masking. He didn't go back home. He didn't go home. Did he not go home? What? I think, I think something is going to be really off. I feel like maybe him and his brother don't get along because one, his brother still has the last name of whoever in the family he sided with, Tanaka-kun. And then Mabichi, or Mobichi, I can't remember what his last name was. But then he sided with the other side of the family, so I'm guessing there's a drift there. Yeah, exactly. No shit. Are you going to be in the same class? Same class as Kokun. Lay, let's go.
Oh, with that girl. That random girl. He has a crush on her. Okay, I can already see the trope. He's He likes her. Like, blonde guy likes black-haired girl. Black-haired girl probably likes Tanaka Kun. Yep, this is going to be a problem. So they're no longer freshmen, now they're juniors? Is that what juniors are? <gasps> Yay! Yo. So in the third episode, they're already in the second year of high school. Bro, why do I feel like we're going to see them in adulthood? Yes! I love that whole, like, trope of, like, you know, the super brooding, like, cold man and, like, the super energetic cute girl. Or, like, the ditzy clumsy girl. Oh, that's so cute. Or, like, the other way around, even. You know? It's just cute. <laughs> what a douche. Is he doing it on purpose to be with her in the class? Did he drop for her? Did this fucking man drop for her? Don't do that, kids. But also, in the sake of the hypothetical of a, of a, of a show, that's cute as fuck. <laughs> Yes, you are. He's a lot more talkative now, all of a sudden. Sorry, this is cute as fuck. Yeah, it's like you're in elementary school, but you're liking it, so. No. Sit in front of her. Sit in front of her. Why aren't you sitting close? I'm sorry. You're gonna call a serious fight one with words? Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> what the Really? Nothing about her seems approachable. Oh, there you go. She put her fucking headphones in. Are you gonna say she- Don't address me again, Aura. 
Fair. Fair. This man's a whole ass in his own world, man. I fucking love this guy. I like this guy a lot already. Sorry. He's so cute! Shit! Definitely do all of them. Take it from me. I did not take... I didn't, part, I didn't participate in a lot of activities and things that I wanted to. You totally should. You only get to do it once. I'm like, I can't go back as an adult back to high school and be like, Hey, I want to sign up for this class and this club. Yeah. Mm. You're not helpless. You're appreciating that own attitude, though. Exactly. Yes, King! I love this man. Yes, bad bitch. Oh my god, he's got that bad bitch energy. Apply. He's like her life coach. Is it gonna be him? Is he amazed by how fast he changes and grows? He's going to start liking her, isn't he? He doesn't mind doing it because you're there, bestie. Not because of anything else. Yeah, okay. Liar! 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 Liar!
It's gonna be that friend group doing everything, huh? This is wholesome. She's doing it for him. <laughs> this man is a lifelong shrimp. This man is the simp formation. Homeboy is going to revert into the simp shrimp. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う